With inventory in Arizona being as low as it is, we are looking to the builders right now to help solve some of our inventory problems. If you're not finding a resale home that you're interested in purchasing right now, let's talk about new build construction. And in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be discussing. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Evans, owner and lead agent of the Living 48 Real Estate Team. Welcome back to another one of our video blogs, our vlog. We're super excited to have you here today. And like promised, at the end of this video, I've got a great resource for you if you're considering new build construction um, that will just kind of give you a few extra ideas about it. But for right now, let's jump right in and talk about some of the pros and the cons of buying new build construction. There are several pros, as you are very well aware, um, it's brand new, it's got that new house smell, it's never been lived in, nobody else is dirt in it, and there's less of a chance that things are going to break down. So that's a very, very solid pro in the, in the jar of a new build construction. Um, financing options. You guys, right now, builders who have their own lenders are having definitely some financing benefits to their buyers. So. We've got um, closing cost assistance. We've got better interest rates going on right now with the builders. There are a lot of perks right now for buying a new build home and using their lenders. Uh, if you're not buying a spec home and depending on the builders, you may have some options for customization. So that is also a potential perk and a pro in the new build bucket. Um, and lastly, because builders are really anxious to get a house off the books, once they either release it or um, if it's a spec home and we're getting close to completion, they really, really are interested in getting those homes sold. So there may actually be some negotiation in price right now. You might find some more favorable terms. I will share a story with you. Uh, closing with a buyer most recently where uh, we got, we upfront we negotiated some great things for them. All their closing costs were covered. Um, just, we had some great terms negotiated for them already. Well, the house didn't actually appraise for what we all agreed we would purchase it for. So we went back to the builder and said, house didn't appraise, we need you to lower their price. Guys, it was about a $30,000 price reduction and we kept all the ne previously negotiated terms. So there is room to negotiate with builders on new build construction. So that also is a pro in the bucket for new build construction. Now let's talk really briefly about the cons of new build construction. Well, first of all, there may be a time frame on it. Like if you're starting from scratch, you could be looking from nine months to over a year before you're moving into your new build home. Cost of construction is also going up. And so the uh, the new build, you'll, you'll get less value or bang for your buck price per square foot than you will with a resale home. But again, it's brand new, so you gotta weigh the pros and the cons. Um, another con that maybe you're not considering is there are some limited warranties on some of these properties. Uh, some builders, only offer proprietary home warranty plans. So you don't maybe get the whole home warranty thing, but you could purchase a home warranty on top of it. Something to talk about that. And then many of the items come with their own limited warranties as well. So the, the brand new refrigerator or the brand new oven is gonna have a, a warranty on it from the manufacturer. Um, another con that we might give to new build construction is you're gonna get minimal landscaping. You may possibly get your front yard landscape, but you are not gonna get your backyard landscape in most places. So you're gonna to have to put in some money, um, invest either some elbow grease or some dollars and cents into getting your yard all put together. Some builders do not include things like window coverings so or ceiling fans. Uh, you may wanna upgrade your lighting fixtures. Some of those kind of things could also be potential cons to new construction. I want to go back to that story that I told you just a minute ago about negotiating price. You really, 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 really want to have your own representation when purchasing a new build construction. So please, please, please. The rule is if you do not take your realtor with you the first time that you go see the model homes, you're out of luck. 
Okay, so you really do need to contract your realtor and say, hey, just want to go look, just want to go look for fun. Can you come with me so that we can be registered together just in case? So your realtor does need to be there with you the first time that you go to see the model homes. They do need to register with you so that you're all connected in the builder's mind so that you have your own representation so that somebody's there to negotiate on your behalf so that you're going into these contracts with your eyes wide open. While the salespeople in the model homes are darling people, I genuinely love them. They are very, very good people. They are there working for the builder and they are there to represent the builder. So you won't have your own representation if you just rely on them to do all of the negotiating for you. That is where I'm gonna leave this video at. New build construction, great idea. Most of the new builds in Arizona are in some of the further out cities, but we are finding some infill um, in, the, in the bigger cities. So we just have to get in there a lot if that's what you're looking for. So of course, I promised you a resource at the beginning of this uh, video. We have a great guide to buying new construction homes. So I'd love to send that to you for free. Um, if you just want to put your email address down in the comments below or jump over to our website at www.living48realestate.com and uh, message us through there. Or you can just send me a direct message either on my phone, which is 480-415-1341 or my email, which is katie, K-A-T-I-E, at living48re.com. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching our video blog and we'll catch you on the next one.